guys, welcome to another Airsoft Air Rattle review. Uh, today we're going to be the G36C. Um, and wow, do I have to say this gun is definitely worth 120 bucks. Um, what's unique about all G36 is pretty much the foldable stock. It's not going to come out. You lock it in place. You know, it's not coming off. Uh, you just lift up and you push it back in place. You hear that snap, it's not coming back out. Plus, if you push this button. Um, this gun, I would definitely recommend. It has so many unique features, like the mag, for instance. You can hook another mag on, so you have like a dual mag, which is very unique. I mean, I've not seen any uh, airsoft can do that. Um, the battery pack is right here. I will not show because it is so bad to get that back in. Uh, hop up is right there. See that opening right there? That just opened. Uh, and also, as obvious, this is single safety and auto. So the sights are actually very clear, unlike you uh, Call of Duty nerds that hate the G36 sights. Um, this mag is probably it is a high cap mag, and it holds plenty of BBs. I would only recommend two mags, and I think you'd probably be set for the match. Um, it also has an access rail on top and bottom. So if you really don't like the sights, or really there's no point of sights in airsoft, but if you want to make your gun look fancy, you can do that. You can make a grip, bipod, or whatever you choose. I also will actually have a really kind of funny set. I don't have the scope with me, but take a sniper scope and put it on here. It is actually kind of cool, and it actually does help. I know it sounds weird. What are you talking about, Gorilla? Well, it really does work. I honestly think it looks cool with the sniper scope on it and it does help for not only will you have like a set of binoculars on here but it it just helps get the bullet on target so try that set I mean it only cost you about 40 bucks I know it's a lot but I promise you you won't be disappointed um this gun shoots around four, 340 to 380 FPS with .2 which is that's pretty good um this gun is I think it's underpriced. I think they should be able to make that go up to like 40 bucks more, but you know, it's the sight is so cheap, it's ridiculous. Um, I would definitely recommend this gun. It is personally one of the cheapest, best guns I've ever got for a hundred and some dollars. That's 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 ridiculous. Uh, I for all you people, um, one more thing if you don't notice this hole, you can put uh. Like, you can put almost anything, you can put a sling on it if you want. Here's another hole for the sling. And sling, I would recommend. Um, I would recommend on the bottom a grip because I don't know if maybe if you feel it, you can go like that. But I personally like holding it like this. So, again, nothing would recommend going here. Alright, the guys, that's it for the G36 review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe. Thank you, guys.